You bet. Bradford hangs one out of there beautifully, and Fagan is hit at the 13 and down right there. So it is Bradford doing an excellent job of hunting for Texas. 7 3, OU leads it. With Jason White backed up inside their 15 yard line. 7 4 left in the third. The stop. Well, we talked about what these two teams like to do, and you can see as it unfolded, Texas right here has not been able to establish any running attack. It's forced them to throw more of the passes, which is okay. But look at this 10 finesse plays. That is not the way they wanted to do it. Oklahoma doing right about what they want to in this football game, except scoring points. Second down and four for the Sooners. Jason again rolling hard to the right on the run. Oh, what a collision at the 28-yard line. A penalty flag is down. The tight end Smith was working over there. Nathan Basher popped him. The referee is John Laurie. We did have holding on the defense. That's a tough one. That's an automatic first. You can see as how Oklahoma has changed their game plan to try to adjust to this Texas offense. There's the hold on the tight end right there, right in front of the official. Holding defense, spot, Call the spade. Perfect. Everett Wall, the outside linebacker, was the one who had the tight end that time, Trent Smith. More of a roll out play action pass bootleg package in there with white trying to free up from those blitzing linebackers those stunning guys inside that Texas having a tough time getting the ball away from Griffin's out of the game right now so Ronaldo works the sophomore from Tulsa he's a running back for the Sooners <laughs> on the release they paid a price Fagan did and so too did the quarterback as Tyrone Jones drove in on top of him that time and Corey Redding there also on the hit. Well, that guy's not picked up at all in the design of that play. The quarterback has to release it. The linemen are trying to get out in front of that screen, that wide receiver screen, and the quarterback, you said it right, has to get rid of it quickly and still take punishment. Second down and nine. Game folks is for men only. This has been a heavy hitter today. Griffin, nothing doing. Lost yardage on it. Reading again, and let's send you to John Saunders for an update on the Irish. They finally got a breakthrough. Brent trying to avoid going 0-4 for the first time in school history. Carlisle Holiday at quarterback. Busts it up, breaks a couple of tackles, and then into the open field for the touchdown. 67 yards. The Irish led 17 to 7, and they knock off Pitt this afternoon to go to 1 and 3, 24 7, the final. Brent. All right, John, and here it is 7 3. Oklahoma ahead of Texas. Third down and 10. Hit by Johnson, diving catch, first down, Smith. I don't Coming. think so. No, they wave it off. Yep. The official said it was on the ground. That was a nice play by Smith. He laid out White because of the blitz inside, had to get out of the pocket, threw it, kind of a jump pass, and the ball skipped. Yeah. I thought it did. And that was yeah. a nice try. That was a good try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that rascal tried. He made it look good on the short yeah, That's right. Yes, indeed. Who's going to make the big mistake? That's what it looks like this game is going to come down to. One big mistake because both defenses are dominant. All right, Jeff Ferguson. Eight men in burnt orange trying to get there. Gets off another beauty. Drives Asher in the 23. Slips one, but not. 
the next two, and Rocky Kalmus makes the stop for the special teams. You talk about a player who's a leading candidate for the Butkus. There he is right there, Jack Aroot. Well, Brent, Gary Gibbs and the Oklahoma Sooners had lost four in a row against Texas in 1993. Cale Gundy, despite a problem with his hip, rushed for three touchdowns, passed for 111 yards with just one INT, and Oklahoma upset Texas 38-17. And there's Gundy on that OU sideline. Helping out with the coaching staff. Victor Ike is now in a running back. Victor Ike is the running back for the Horns. Play fake to him. Sims waits deep middle. Sims goes for Williams. Jump ball. Wolfolk is there and knocked it away. What a move by the OU coaching staff to move number 17 to corner. And he's been assigned to Roy Williams. And he's done a knockout job here today. This ball was thrown very late. Very late, very high. Wolfolk just watched this ball. It was hanging up forever. You see Jones has to stop. And Wolfolk, and that's where that receiving experience comes through. Sims, who gets rocked as he let it go, the ball hung, and that one, Wolfolk will gobble up.